soldering. Lots of dust. Hey guys, welcome back to the workshop. Something a little different today. We're gonna burn something. I've been binge watching another YouTuber for the last, I don't know, three, four days, trying to up my game as far as my video editing and kind of the way that I do my shooting and, and everything else. So I figured what I would do is start out with a pen that I've already made, which I actually haven't done yet. So I'm kind of gonna get that prepped and then once it's done, I'm gonna use these wood burning tools, which I used to do wood burning when I was a kid. I remember being, geez, I don't know, I must have been like eight or nine years old and I got this giant wood burning kit. Like wood burning for a 10 year old, hey? Fun stuff. Uh, I'm surprised it didn't burn the house down. And there were like designs on pieces of wood that were all red and then you'd take the tool. So I'm gonna make the pen. We're gonna print out a design, so I'm gonna do a little bit of illustrator work somewhere in here, because I need to take the logo that I wanna use and print it out on a piece of sticker paper that I can then wrap around the pen once it's done to use it as a template that I can then burn the design into the pen. And it's kind of a special thing because I'm making this for another YouTuber, even though he doesn't know it yet, just to thank him for what he does. So Peter, this one's for you. The other thing, he's a fellow Canadian, so this one goes out to him. Hope you guys enjoy. Uh, walk through this with me if you're not already burning stuff. Again, I don't know if this is gonna work. So let's uh, get started and see what happens. Alright, so my wood's all drilled, got everything ready to go. I got to glue in my tubes now. Pick out the bushings that I'm going to need for this one. I'm thinking I, I might need to go one size smaller. We'll see what the final outcome on the pen is. I might just go with a little wider profile on it and then I got to decide where I'm going to put it. I'm thinking the back side of the pen clip, but I don't know. We'll see once I've got it turned and figure it out from there. All right, so let's go ahead, get some tubes glued into these and get it on the lathe and get this pen turned. Tiny little shift, I found this kit. I'll get this one prepped. This is gonna be the one we're turning because I got a little bit more real estate on here. And I think the logo will look a little nicer on this one. So this is what I'm gonna move ahead with.
right, so that's turned. It's down to the basic profile that I want. Uh, I didn't go too small on it because I want to see, uh, left a, a pretty good, uh, I didn't want to go too small because I want to make sure I've got enough room that I can get this put on. Uh, use the decal that I printed, stick it on the pan, use it to burn. So let's uh, set up on the bench and see if we can get this burnt. Okay, so as I'm sure probably some of you have already come to the assumption or realized even before I started, that sticker material is just way too thick for me to actually do this, uh, at least that way. So I've come up with a different plan, but it's gonna have to wait until next time. We're gonna get this done. Come back next time. If you're not already a subscriber, hit the subscribe button so you make sure you don't miss part two of this. If you are a subscriber, I appreciate you being here. Thanks for watching everybody and make sure you come back next Monday for part two. Let's burn some mm. Yeah, I don't know if I can start my video that way.